Tell me more about the gangs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, quite the assorted bunch. All used to hate each other, and I guess maybe they still do to a degree. Took a shitload of work to get them all on board with this idea, so I really don't want to lose them now. And if I were you, I'd start with the disciples. They might all be crazy, probably are in fact, but Nisha has her reasonable moments. Then you've got the operators. Spoiled, rich kids. But doesn't mean they ain't ruthless killers. If you can impress Mags, she'll listen to you. Oh. And then there's the pack. Okay. I'm not saying they're savages, but, well, shit, they're savages. I don't know how Mason keeps them on a leash. Up to you who you want to trust the most. But you're gonna need to trust at least some of them. Or... You need anything else? Or wipe them all out. I mean, that's that's another option, of course. What if there was a place with all the zip of milk of cola? Wouldn't that be the cheer, cheer, cheeriest place in all the world? And we're back. I've had a night's sleep, or more accurately, a full day's sleep. I, I basically stayed in bed for 24 hours because the sun was rising when I went to bed, and I figured it might be a good idea to have some sunlight as I explore for the first time. Did somebody just run across the square there? I've no idea why I should be suspicious of someone running. I mean, the entire night and day, it's been basically filled with the sounds of gunfire. I should actually suspect anybody not running, anybody walking calmly is probably up to no good. I should find whoever was running and give them a bloody medal. What was I saying? Yes, yeah, so I've had a full night's sleep and I'm ready to start whatever it is we're going to do here, which I still haven't quite figured out because we do have a task and that task is to figure out where my... Hello? Okay, to figure out why my pit boy wasn't working correctly. So yeah, um... An ambitious plan. Meet the gang boss for the pack. Meet the gang boss for the operators. And the same for the disciples. i got to meet the gang bosses and gauge them. Although I suspect what I'm doing is measuring them up to decide how much ammo I need to bring when I decide to pretty much remove them from the picture. They do sound, well, slightly incompatible with my own personal view on how the Commonwealth should be... Is this the Commonwealth? How far are we? This couldn't... This this is outside the Commonwealth. Well, whatever. America. The whole damned world, I think, would be a better place for uh, having gotten rid of these guys. I, I am going to talk to them, though, because you never know. There might be one or two of them who are deep down very unhappy with this and just going through the motions because, you know, what else can you do? I realise that sounds unbelievably sentimental and massively, well, not naive, but perhaps a little on the hopeful side. I do have some other things to do whilst I'm here, though. I, I do want to check the surrounding areas and find out which areas they've not taken and why, because I may have some allies, and uh, it'd be nice to find them. Cappy in a haystack. I need to find... 10 hidden Cappy images, and one of them is actually pretty close, right there. I also have precious medals. I've got to p collect a lot of park medallions, but none of them, as far as I can see, are close by. Nuka Station. There's the Commonwealth. Okay. Where was the train station? I came in via there. When I leave, do I have to go back via the arena and the gauntlet? Because that's going to get truly annoying. Anyway, so I was thinking, first things first, I'll go and find Cappy in the haystack because it's, it's down there somewhere, basically. Should we use the elevator or should we... Actually, I also think we should explore out of my way. You need something, Bart? No. Um, he did stand there all night watching me. Well, not watching me. He stood on guard while I slept, which I suppose I should be grateful for, but I'm not. Galactron. I have to say, Galactron Sentinel, 
We need to modify you a little bit. Can we modify them? If I build... Can I build a robot thing? I just... I want quieter legs. You're just really noisy, mate. Maybe a, maybe a thruster like... Codsworth there, he's a bit noisy too. Tracks, maybe. Assaultron legs, they're stealthy. Right, we have this fizz top grill. Let's go and meet the locals, I guess. Protect and serve. Yeah. Okay. What? Wait, really? Is this my actual house? Is this? I thought that open air thing was my house, but it's this. Really? Re have I actually got a house in here? I've got a house in here, and I didn't know it. I have rounds as well. Okay, we got a power armor. Right, tell you what. Just I thought the outside bit was my house. Do we have anything in here? Right, let's let's put something in here. We're going to put some rounds. Right, we're doing we're doing a test because I saw an armor bench. No, damn it! It doesn't share. It doesn't share a an inventory, which is which is unfortunate. Yes, it is. Um, but still. Does the DJ make his own songs or something? Right. I think this is our house, and we've got stations at least. That's the important thing, I suppose. I can Protect break down some serve. weapons. Do I have anything? I've got first aid. Yeah, it's a good job I decided. I was this close to just jumping off and never even finding this. Why do I why do I have why do I have two toilets and probably shouldn't ask. The previous occupant was a little odd, wasn't he? I am Oh, before we do anything, I've got some weapons I want to break down. Codsworth, come here and give me those weapons. I will break them down for stuff. Protect and okay, I have broken down some weapons and I've dumped all of the junk in the power armor station. I'm hoping it's safe there and won't get removed. You'd think it would be. I, I'm really hoping it will be. The metal box might have been a better place for it. There is also a safe over here which I emptied. But I think I'm more likely to be repairing my power armor than anything, so I'm going to leave the junk in there. I really am not sure this is going to be... Oh, well, I didn't even check this place. I did not check. And I should have. Oh, my God. More stuff to break down. Okay, well, I'll do that before I go. And yeah. I'm going to leave that stuff here until I find a better solution. I was kind of hoping, I'm going to be honest with you, I was kind of hoping I could set up a mini sort of base here and, you know, get a provisioner going. But this is probably not the right place to do that. Oh, cooking stove. Give me the food. Give me the food. I'm going to see what I can cook as well. So we've got a bit more junk and i got some cooking to do. Okay, that is very odd. I seem to have mislaid my laser rifle. Protect Where the sir. hell? I can't find it. I've I've not given it to Oh, Nera's holotape. That's right. I would I noticed that and was going to play that. We'll play that whilst I look. Sure this is gonna work? What if we overload the processor? Could fry the whole system. Then we salvage it for parts. You really think anyone's gonna miss this robot? Now hand me that screwdriver. If this little personality okay. upgrade works, Answer. it's gonna be the funniest damn thing but... in the park. Man, I can't wait to see the looks on the other guys' faces when they try to talk to it. There. All done. One slightly raiderized robot ready for duty. Okay. So the mystery has been solved. Well, the mystery of Nira, but... but... 
Not... Honestly, that... The thing is, is my first thought was, oh my god, did I accidentally junk it? But it's legendary. It was legendary. There's no way I can... You can't junk legendary things. Didn't put it in there. No. I mean, you can't... Can you? Can you? Let's just try it out of curiosity. No, you can't scrap legendaries. And it was le... It was legendary, surely. Oh, well, that's really unfortunate because I've actually lost my laser rifle. It was crap anyway. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm barely, barely caring. I'm trying to care, maybe, actually, when I think about it. Can I fill any of these bottles? Can I fill Nuka-Cola bottles with water somewhere? Or is it? Is it got to be empty bottles or something like that. I can't remember what they... I can't remember what it is I'm supposed to fill. Right, you know what? Never mind. I do need... I do need water. I've got lots of food. I don't have water. At least I've got a place to stay. i got to be honest with you. We have this terminal. Electron. And serve. Don't, don't take this the wrong way, but I, I think I'm slightly... Um, a little too heavy on the whole robot thing, so you you stay here. We'll be we'll, we we may come back for you. We've got a we got a robot. I, I the thing is I can't tell him to just guard here and keep him active, which is a shame because that would be cool. All right, let's see what Coulter's terminal actually says. Property of Coulter. If you ain't Coulter, you're dead. Wrong. Um. This terminal is for all cultures, important personal overboss stuff. Keep your hands off. To-do list. Shake down traders. Make fun of Mason. Check on power armor. Count caps. It's a very simple man, really. Messages from Gage. We made it. Terminal is all set up in your quarters. Guys should be hauling in the rest of the furniture you asked for. We've done real good, man. Got further than I thought we would, to be honest. Once we got the gang settled and everyone's healed up, we need to start coming up with a plan for the rest of the parks. We gotta talk. Look, we gotta do something. Three months and no progress. This don't look good for you or for me. They, they're they scared of you still, like they should be, so you ain't here in the talk, but I'm telling you the gangs want some action. You need to stop screwing around and sit down with me, okay? So basically, they wanted me to kill him because he wasn't raiding. I mean, oddly enough, it would seem uh, the first person I killed... Well, not the first person, but the first... The important person I killed when I arrived here was probably the one person who was the least likely to be a problem for the Commonwealth, but... Well, uh, deleted, of course. Of course, I do care about the people here in the park as well as the Commonwealth, so I probably still would have done some uh, cracking of skulls. Next step! You deleted my message, my last message, didn't you? I'm glad we had a chance to talk. I was able to smooth things over with the gangs and let them know you've got a plan. <gasps> But we don't know what the... Ooh, what was the deleted message? Now you just got to make sure you tell everyone. Hold a big meeting, pull everyone in that ain't on guard duty, show off. These guys are suckers for that shit. Gauntlet. Colterman, what the hell? I can't even find you. Where the hell have you been? What's this gauntlet thing the disciples are working on? I don't care how excited they are. This wasn't the plan. We didn't spend half a goddamn year here just to waste our time on this shit. Seriously, it, dude, I have to tell you, you're wrong on that. It's bread and circus. The gauntlet is the circus. He was providing them entertainment. That's half your battle right there. It's reality TV, basically. The gauntlet was the post-apocalyptic equivalent of the Cardassian sex tape or something. Shit is serious. I can't keep covering for your ass. The gangs are already bored of this gauntlet of yours. New business ain't coming in and we're not doing shit to expand. Guys can't even set foot in most parts of the park without getting killed. Well, these the raiders for God's sake. And no one can get a word in with you because you're always tinkering with your goddamn power armor. He is talking to Coulter now, right? Not me. Hard to tell. The gangs have all been demanding to see you. I finally got them all to agree to a meeting, which I will have to hold because your ass isn't around. Yeah, first thing I did when I got here was fix my power armor. 
All good. Hey, boss. Work things out with the gangs. Uh, it'll just be fine. Nisha says, they've improved the gauntlet again. Sounds like it should be real interesting. Hope we get a real good show out of it. Have fun, boss. Yeah, the sudden change in tone should have been a bit of a warning sign. Shouldn't it? But apparently it wasn't. Right. Now I've actually discovered my real digs. Let's now go and meet the neighbours. That when it's the Fizz Grill, I honestly thought there would actually be a cafe here as well, though. I must admit. Really? So this is all mine as well, then, is it? New cocade ticket stack. Okay, I mean, I'm not complaining that all this is mine and everything. New Coca-Cola victory. Okay, I'm just... Every time I go to a door or something. Souvenir teddy bear. Okay. I go, let's go meet the neighbours and there's no one there. I'm not even going to say it now because for all I know, the entire park will be empty when I get out there. Well, there's the gunshots. Oh. Let's call it down so that we don't have to worry too much. Okay. So, a trader with a slave collar and, oh, step one was find let's have a look cappy in a haystack now i have to wear the goggles don't i i'm gonna look like such an idiot yes indeed now what the hell am i looking for let's have a look map Oh, wait. Meet the gas bunk. No, it was it was right it was right here. It was Okay, each one has part of a code she needs to access the blah blah blah. Find the but you know what? Let's read the th I think it's because I'm so close to it, isn't it? If if I run away. If I run away. Sure, we carry guns. Does it some? It appears right. So it is. It's, it's over it's here. I know it's over stuff. here. I do have a tape that's going to give me some uh, some hints. What do you think? In there, restrooms, or in the cafe diner? Is that stealing? It's not stealing. It's aluminium. I need aluminium. Let's have a look. It came under. Oh God, H hidden, hidden. It was a note, wasn't it? It was a note. Notes. Yeah, that's right. It was actually a hollow tape. Nuka Town, USA hint. Down near the bottom of Fizz Top Mountain, Cappy's enjoying a view of the fountain. Cappy's enjoying a view of the fountain. This is this is Cappy, isn't it? He's enjoying. A view. Did I get? I thought I got something for a second. Oh, that's Codsworth. Is it in the toilet? I'm assuming it's pretty easy to see. As long as I've got the glasses on, he's. There's making huge amounts of assumptions there. Not actually totally sure if this is even true. This could have just been a... This could have been a bit of a joke, really, couldn't it? Clark's Toolbox. Oh, okay, thank you. Got it. For Deke, Clark's stash... Uh, might that have been locked for a reason? Yes. They didn't want me to go in it and take their stuff. And your point is, these are raiders we're stealing from. Raiders, you know? Uh, so, right, we, 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 oh god. Um, somebody stash. 
See, you distracted me. I was deliberately trying to remember what the hell it was I just picked up. And then you went and distracted me. For Deek. That was what it was, wasn't it? For Deek. It was, oh, hey, again, a holotype. It's me, Clark. I don't get pissed off. I know you were expecting to meet up with me. And instead, you found this holotape. Well, sorry, buddy, but I just couldn't take the chance that you'd double-cross me. Oh. So, I've decided to split the goods up myself and just leave your share somewhere else. I'm gonna head west with my share, see if the Sunset folks are buying. But, uh, you might do better selling the stuff to the Vim people up in Maine. The key I've stashed with this holotape should get you into the footlocker under the bridge near the bottling plant. Good luck. Okay. Look at that. Calmly listening to a man's recorded message, and that's when I found the hidden cap. Recording the clue. That's one. Yay! So at least we know what it looks like now. And I can't see this if I don't have the goggles on. Let's just double check that in case it's just having them good in. Oh, maybe I can see them. Maybe I can see them once I've recorded them. Oh, I'm curious now. I'm record. Uh, um, next time we do that, let's not record them straight away. Okay, so that was one down. I'm going to take Cappy in a haystack off my list of quests, and now I'm going to get back to the you know slightly more important task. I say that maybe it's not more important. Do I want to talk to the disciples, the operators, or do I want to mess around with my radio? Or, meet the gang boss for the pack. Pack. Pack, operators, disciples. It would seem the disciples are closest. Let's just do those first. I, I, I knew when I said that that was going to come out wrong, but I couldn't think of any other way of saying it. Chat to them first. Chat to them first. Things are boring as hell since Nick Yeah, now these guys are keen on violence. Got a new overboss and all, but we're still stuck with the mess Coulter left us in. Unless you want to wind up dead, keep your asses out of parks we ain't secured. There's all kinds of weird shit out there. All kinds of... Where, where the hell am I actually going? I'm probably already lost. We're right! Here! Here? Is this where I'm going? Yes! Okay. So these guys are probably the closest to me, the overboss. I wonder if that meant they were favoured. Fizz Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. See this? This is my boss stick. Okay. I am... Um, what was this? I'm taking that because it's mine and I'm the if boss. you come across any herbologist crazies, just ignore them. Tell those freaks to stick to their camp. Hobologists. Okay. I am. Um, I thought I was Fizz Top Mountain. I thought that was. No, that was Fizz. There's the Fizz Top Diner. This is Fizz Top Mountain entrance. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on, girl. You know we should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up, he knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah. In your way. as much. Both of you just get out of here. In your way. And make sure the others get the message. Boss! <laughs> Stick! Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? Talk to Nisha. I don't look like much to you. Have you? You guys are just. Are you Nisha? Yeah, no, there's just really no way I'm going to find a redeeming quality in you, is there? Hey. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Last time I checked, I'm the overboss. Yeah, yeah, watch it, lady. I'm no one's pet. I'm not really feeling... I'm not feeling in a good mood at the moment. I'm... 
I'm feeling almost un frank like But let's no, you know what? Watch it, lady. I'm no one's pet. Really? Gage made Coulter, and now here you are. I'm just calling it as I see it. Actually, he Everyone did say knows violence. we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. How are you seeing? I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean, keep the peace? This world needs rules, otherwise we'll never recover. Rules just hold us back, we should be free to do as we want. No, rule, let's see, you never know. No, let's ask, what do you mean by keeping the peace? What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. She's not gonna be- The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. <sighs> I bet you guys are great at parties. Now, you know what? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the noble speech thing, just in case there's a break in the armor there, but. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of oh, course, you like it was total that. shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. That thing should be shut down is dangerous. How many lives has it claimed? How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. You call it a gauntlet more like a cakewalk. That thing should be shut down, it's dangerous. You know what? I think it's 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 not time to tell them my actual plan. <laughs> you call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. No, Let's I would have figured it out right eventually. He made a lot of promises to get us here. Never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me, your overboss? Depends on what you're looking for. I'm gonna do my things my way, whether you're a prover or not. Yeah, go on then. I'm gonna do things my way, whether you approve or not. That's oh, the yeah? absolute truth. I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Yes, you will. Yes. Let's go for it. Let's play the badass. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Um. Okay, what work did you have in mind, though? What, 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 what? Nisha. Well, look who stopped by. Care to lend a hand? Here's an announcement from. Max I'm listening. Black. Go on. My scouts found an old cache and attracted a little too much attention celebrating. Go make sure they hang on to it, and it doesn't happen again. Who's the target? Who am I up against? Super mutants. Oh! Fun, right? Okay, actually, I don't mind helping you out against them, unless, of course, they're friendly super mutants, in which case I'm probably going to side with them. 
I trust there'll be something in this for me. Why? Hurting for caps? Don't worry. You'll get I was get about to say no, but uh, kind of a... Fine. Sounds fun. Apparently it sounds fun. Right up my alley. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I, I go and help get some stuff from Super Mutants. That seems harmless enough. And uh, would you, I just want to have a look. Is it okay if I have a look around? <laughs> I was asking nicely, you see. I'm just going to ignore you if you said no. Okay, what if we got over... Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. I, I have one rule as well. And uh, I'm afraid you've already broken it. Actually, I have lots of rules. I'm lying. And you've broken most of them. Hey there. Wait, let me go. I'm going to. I, I, I don't see me helping these people, Codsworth, do you? Rubbish. Yeah, but they're my rubbish now and not their rubbish. Best thing about wearing a mask? Not having to look like I care what people talk to me. Killing beats stealing any day. Nothing beats that rush. <sighs> you people, absolutely terrible. I mean, I do realize that I have probably killed, what, a thousand times more than each of them? But I'm not sure what's worse, wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Always keep your knife sharp. No one likes Wearing a teddy work. bear? How do you wear a teddy bear? You know what? Let's pretend I did not ask because I absolutely do not want to know. I'm just going to, you know, wander around stealing random things. Not everything. Okay, let's check upstairs. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. That last one died too fast. Oh, I forgot I'm hungry and thirsty. I can sort that out. Disciple Waste. Uh, this place is actually fairly big. I already hear people talking about some secret agreement between Gage and the Savoy. So sick of Nuka Cola. You believe that? Yeah, I bet you if are, actually. Don't, don't push me on. Come he gets to be over boss? Shut up. Dixie Souvenir. I had it out with that disciple chick again today, Anna. I'm tired of her always winning. She's got better aim, better comebacks, even packs a better punch. Well, I not for really long. For Fuck these rules. I'm going after her. Then, when she's floating face down in the swamp pond, we'll see who's better. I can't wait to see. How'd you get in here? What? A girl's got her ways. I'm just here because Anna's big into helping Nisha keep the peace between all us gangs. Me? Not so much. What the? That should keep you quiet till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. Okay, so she took an operator. Trading this area seems pretty scarce. I'm thinking of packing it in and heading back to the Commonwealth. I lost one of the Brahmins to some damn rad scorp the other day. And I think Emmy's coming down with something. The rest of us are just at each other's throats. Tired of traveling and barely running into any business. This whole plan was a bust. As it is, we barely got enough to pay for our losses. Hey, are all y'all traders? If so, I know a pretty good post nearby. Guarantee you'll turn a profit if you want to check it out. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we want to trust anything some stranger in a mask told us. Sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't no raider, and I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Guai wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. Hmm. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuka World outpost before heading back. It'd be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others, and hope no fights break out this time. So this Dixie basically wanders around, hmm, doing various jobs, luring people in, 
capturing operators for Nisha and always likes to take a little souvenir. Hey, Ruth. Sammy just came back with this girl, Dixie, and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected called Nuka World. Finally. I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own. Dealing with raiders and finding food and just surviving. We're packing up to leave, and we're out of here. I wanted to leave this message for you. It's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home. Dear, oh dear. You've no idea how happy we are that we ran into you. Not as happy as I am. What are you doing? Wait, I thought you were here to... Coulter lasted as long as he did. Pretty sure we all wanted him dead. What? Dixie. Interesting. I love it when the traitors try to escape from the collar triggers. Nothing like watching a head go pop. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty much sold on the idea of raising this place to the ground. The only thing that stops me coming back here with mini nukes is the fact that there are some innocents here who I would like to save. And, and, and some loot I'd like to take as well, but that that is purely secondary. Are you certain I'm the man for the job, sir? Honestly, at the moment, you're probably the only person for the job because you're the only one who doesn't have a stomach, and right now that's a massive advantage. I'm breaking into Nisha's terminal because I don't like her, essentially. That's it. If you're not Nisha, you're dead. Oh, for God's sake, really, get an original introduction screen. Watch list. Reminder to self, there are no warnings here. Anyone who violates the rule or betrays the disciples deserves worse than death. Ruby. Rumors are saying Ruby's stealing from our own. Not sure what pisses me off more, that she's stealing from us or that she got caught. Either way, I don't have any proof besides Paige's claim, and Paige was probably too high on Jet to trust. Going to let this sit for now and see how it goes. Josie. Savoy found the remains of what looks like Josie's handiwork. I have one rule here. People, why is it so damned hard to follow? When you hide a body, not only do you make sure it's hidden, you make sure it's really dead. Savoy said the pack guy was halfway back to Nukatown when he found him. No solid proof that it was Josie, perhaps besides the fact that she and this guy got into it the other day. Samuel. Samuel seems to forget who's in charge here and likes to question my decisions. He's smart enough to not challenge me directly, and I'm sure he knows if he tried to take me out, Savoy and Dixie would never follow him. He's trouble, though. Reminds me of Sledge, and he's new, so he doesn't know what went down back then. But if he keeps it up, he can learn the hard way, just like Sledge did. Okay. Carrie. On watch for a different reason. Carrie has a bit of a conscience. Okay. Stopped going on raids, barely leaves Fizz top. Something's up with her. She's either realized this isn't the life for her or she's been compromised. And if I find out she's turned traitor, I'm going to enjoy every moment I have tearing her apart. Right. We have a potential ally. Carrie. Okay, reports. Collective reports from members. Town remains. Remains of an old abandoned town south of Nuka World called Brabberton. Should be good for standard supplies, but nothing of real interest. Herbologists. Val said some crazies call it. These guys calling other people crazies. Calling themselves herbologists have taken over the old cafe by the giant fire hydrant. I gotta admit, I'm inclined to leave them be. Fanatics are always destructive in their own ways. They could be entertainment from a distance. Fanatics are destructive. Have you seen your own decorations? Grandchester. Okay. 
Dixie found an old roadside attraction called the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. She said it looks to be in decent condition, complete with an annoying ticket-talking protectron, so it's worth looking into. She had a few slaves in tow, so didn't investigate further. We'll need to put a team together to check it out at some point. Righto. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Carry. I hope those traders realize they're only alive because we allow it. And you're alive because I allow it. You don't realize that's obviously so. I'm, I'm glad you don't because you probably make my life miserable. Okay. We're looking for Carrie. Can we find somebody called Carrie? She might be outside, of course, but it did say she never leaves. That's Dixie. Disciple Wanderer. Assuming she's not staying with you if she's the squeamish type. Okay, there was. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Yeah, right. There was a. Damn Nuka Cola. Disciple Scaver. He really is doing all his own songs, isn't he? Oh. Always keep your knife sharp. No one likes sloppy. This might explain some of the bad moods around here. Um, okay, let's take that. I'm not finding Carrie at all. Am I? Look more carefully at the names. Things here. are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. Right. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Yeah. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and person. Okay, well, I'm not finding her inside. Maybe she's in the area outside. It said she doesn't leave Fizz Top Mountain, but maybe maybe she meant the uh, the surrounding area as well. If Gage I must have pulled a few don't... strings if someone like you is in charge now. Shut up. Okay, you've got a power armor. It's not a door I can enter, is it? No. Um. Okay, you know what? Let's carry on our little fact-finding mission. And by that I mean where we find out the fact that everybody here really does need to be killed quite badly. And we'll uh, keep our eyes open for somebody called... Harry. I have two more bosses to talk to. Oh, rendezvous with the team. Where's that one? This top mountain. Okay, out. Th Nuka station cleared. Is that when I arrived? Okay, so I've got to rendezvous with the team. Maybe. I have. Wait. The operators and the pack to talk to. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to talk to the operators who are in this direction. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Yeah, I, I know how that is. What? God, what, my, what is wrong with my mouse? Okay, maybe a piece of fluff. Yeah. The parlor! Is this where I'm going? This is where I'm going. Who have we got here? Hacking disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. Okay. Oh, these are the guys that are all into money, right? These guys are all into money. What Understanding got? the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. Okay, maybe there's something to work with here. You're gonna head on in, over boss. Maybe there is something there. I mean, these guys... Maybe they can be turned around. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new homer boss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Okay. Operator. Mags Black and mm. William Black. Our new boss. You're going to want to talk to Mag. I was going to say I figured she was the boss. Hey there. Well. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. 
I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Um, relief, a sense of panic that the world was going to collapse around me again. Uh, regret, I guess, I didn't want to kill him. Taking down an opponent like that is thrilling. Bored, kind of like this conversation. What were you discussing when we walked in? <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, Me? you, Overboss. You're an Why unknown did I say it quantity. That way? <laughs> and we're interested like, in knowing who we're I was dealing giggling. with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Taking down an opponent, bored, kind of like this conversation now that you mention it. Uh, regret, I guess. I didn't want to kill him. That would be a lie. That would be technically huge. I'm not against lying to these people, but I don't think it's what they want to hear either. Bored. Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Junk! Soda? Making money. Happiness. Soda. Where's junk? Seriously, where's junk? I mean, that's literally it. That's the... What? Making... It's making money, isn't it? Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Okay, well you Though, see... by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Um, in a way, yes. Because I'd like to turn this place back into a thriving commercial success. Which technically meets the criteria you just specified. Um, it's not because I want to make money. Just but I, I believe that. this is a good way to get commerce and civilization kickstarted again. I'm sorry, that sounds like a demand. I'm the overboss around here, and I'll do what the hell I want. And you, I want to explain to me exactly why, uh, why I, exactly I should be backing the operators. And you want to explain to me why uh, exactly I should be backing the operators. Jump in at any point. No, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go along with you for now. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. Codsworth dislike that. I look forward to seeing your claims. Codsworth, come into action. would you stop with it? So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. I mean, any operator gets caught breaking the peace, I'll punish them myself, boss. Can't let him think it's all right. Here's the thing, if I could convince if these Lizzie guys to become to for one guards don't. for a commercial hub and, I don't know, theme park, may maybe. I mean, they don't sound as brutal, and People let's place it, the decorations are slightly better. Well. And no gang does their job better than us. Talk to Max. We'd all considered putting hey, a bullet in the back at some point. Take this. Suppose you just beat us to it. Oh, Codsworth gives what? I need to remember that. Okay, Max. I'm trying to talk hey to you. Hey there. Are you here to work? I've got something I Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you have in mind? Um, uh, what's up? I'm listening. Sure, whatever. Your wish is my command. Then I won't waste any more of your time than I have to. The pack have managed to make themselves more irritating than usual. There's a new ally they're trying to woo. I want to make sure that doesn't happen. 
Ever. Oh. Uh, okay. Put them down for us. Who? Who will I be facing? Raiders. Oh. Nothing but pushovers. Oh, really. okay. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds interesting. I expect you to make, make it worth my while. There will be something in this for me. Not to worry, Overboss. Successful jobs don't go unpaid among the operators. Okay, I've. Oh, sounds fun. Fine. Sign me up. Good to hear. We'll be waiting. Killing raiders. This I can handle. This I can handle. Permanent solution. Oh, did, did you have a job? Hey, William. Operators got no tolerance for dead weight. Those who can't cut it, they're gone. Okay. Then, from the looks of things, in three gang to claim Nuka World. I mean, these guys have a little rest. more potential vis-a-vis -vis the Understand not the having to wipe so them out. Suppose the you just beat us hey. to the <laughs> Would kill for an actual lab, though it hasn't helped yet. Comments like that don't help, though. <sighs> I always thought the parlor was a bit garish. But Mags and William have taken a shine to it, and two Trump won, I guess. All right, so these, she doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. Is there anything else for me to see here? Because it, it seems a bit... Overboss. Making trouble? Good. Oh, good. Okay. Nuka Cola Dark. That actually affects me negatively, I noticed. You know what? They don't seem to mind if I take all the drinks. So, you know what? Let's, um, take all the drinks. What's that? That is a napkin. If there's well, a use to that, I'll eat my hat. Well, it's a napkin, dude. It's a napkin. These guys That's might not have a lot of, uh, use for it, but I might. Okay, was this... Life. Oh, that's back into the lab. Where I can steal some more stuff. These guys really don't seem to care that I'm... Lizzie Wyatt's terminal. That I'm rooting through their stuff. That's it. Persuasion formula test notes. Test one. First go of the formula was a flop. The subject William supplied me with turns out he was a jet head. Pretty sure that's what caused the reaction to formula that he suffered. Killed himself seizing, broke some of my equipment in the process. We'll need to account for that in future batches. Don't want to have to replace this stuff again. Just hope I didn't risk my neck sneaking into the far reaches of the galactic zone for nothing. So you're testing, what, new drugs on innocent people? Not helping your cause. Second subject was another heavy drug user. What else are we going to find around here? But no seizures this time. Spraying the target with the formula, however, doesn't seem to have made persuading her any easier. Now, once I injected it, I feel like she started listening more attentively, but it was hard to tell over the screaming. So she's trying to make a persuasion drug. Finally, some real results. The subject was older female in her 40s. Looked like some kind of farmer or something equally awful. Applied the gas and for a good minute was able to get her to agree with a series of increasingly less reasonable suggestions. Hand me that pen, take off your shoes, take off your clothes. She bulked when I asked her to start mutilating herself, but still progress. Go to have William prepare a room. I think our guest will be staying for a while. Oh dear. Test four. More general testing with Miss, Mrs. Farmer, who William's taken to calling a net after the janitor that disappeared back when we were all still living in Diamond City. Progress continues, though I'm finding that persuasion is still crucial to getting what I want. If I can't sell, if I can't sell why my demands are a good idea, there's little chance for my suggestions to take hold. However, when offered correctly, I've managed to get a net to put herself at greater and greater risk. Particular fun was when I succeeded in convincing her to pick the pockets of a disciple in the market. Disciple managed to take a chunk out of a net before I could intervene, but nothing some gauze, gauze and antiseptic couldn't patch up. Made sure to give the disciple's description to my William. Can't stand it when people damage my toys. Okay. Decided it was time to run a real test of the formula. I order a net to do a task outside the parlor, unsupervised. Give her the chance to run and see if she'd actually return. 
The first step was, of course, getting her in a state where she'd want to run. After a few days of pain, I gave her a dose and asked her to collect some ingredients from, for me from the market, all by herself. Almost William, almost. William was watching from the rooftop just in case she did decide to run. And so we sat, a minute, two minutes, three, waiting for the parlour with Mags. I could see the disapproving frown starting to edge at the corners of her mouth, but five full minutes later, who comes limping back to the parlour? Lovely Annette, arms full of exactly what I'd asked. Even set a new duration record for a single dose of the formula. Now, unfortunately, the wounds she sustained during our prep ended up getting the best of her not long after, but still, we all knew a success when we saw one. Yes, these people really, really are heavily on my to-do list. After our positive results with Annette, Mags requested some broader testing. First up, the market. While perusing Maddox's stall, I let a canister slip out of my bag. Not sure if it was the noise, smells, or dozen other possible issues, but the test went nowhere. Maddox responded to exactly zero of my demands. I was hoping I could finally do the whole park a favour and get him to cut off that ugly top knot. Seems it was not to be. More failure. Mags wanted to see if we might be able to perhaps use the formula to get one of the local Brahmin trains to favour us with some additional supplies, but with no success. Another, another scenario to cross off the list. Dear, oh dear. This batch has apparently gone bad without me realising it. Got the bruises to show for it. Nine. Finally, another, another success. William brought me in another farmer who responded much the same as Annette did. A thread to follow, it would seem. And we have our results. Caravan, caravans, no markets. No, caravans, no markets, no. But settlements, it would appear, are what this formula was made for. Maybe it's the exhaustion brought on by manual labour, the bad water, but something about the environment, a net's wretched environment, appears to favour the gas. I've decided to track my way back to Test Subjects 9 Little Dirt Pit and see what I could get to happen when I deployed the gas. Before I knew it, I had them feeding me their winter stores, handing over whatever caps they had, and ultimately convincing them that their Brahmin sty was better off better in my hands. Off they shoveled, sad but unable to refuse. And the looks on their faces, truly something to behold. In, in some odd way. So this will be test eight of the persuasion formula. Our subject here, what'd you say your name was again? Fuck you, Lizzie. When my crew finds out about this, they're gonna wear your skin. Okay, we're just gonna call you Eight. Eight, would you please stop talking? Go to hell. As you can see, Eight is currently not receptive to my suggestions. Now, deploying the formula. <sighs> yourself. Eight, how do you feel right now? Fine. Good, I guess. Excellent. Now, Eight, I'm going to untie your arm. Okay. Now, Eight, I want you to hit yourself. Hit myself? Please. Okay. Again, please. Harder this time. Ah! That's perfect. Thank you, Eight. You can stop now. Thank you. You're welcome. Eight, I'm going to untie you. Now, if you wouldn't mind... Eight! <laughs> what are you... I'm going to need a minute before you bring in number nine. <laughs> oh. oh dear, no, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't. Yes, I should. Yeah, no, I should. I should laugh. That was funny. She deserved that. Let's face it. I'm going to spend all of this time trying to find a way to not have to wipe 
everybody here out. But honestly, I'm looking forward to failing. What if there was a place with all the zip of milk of cola? Wouldn't that be the cheer, cheer, cheeriest place in all the world? Where the river's made of quantum and the mountain tops are...